Hello, my name is Rigo. Good morning. Still half asleep trying to wake up. Um, today I'm going to build the Batmobile. This is going to be in three sections. Uh, three parts, in other words, because it is a big build. I'm building the 1989 Batmobile, which will fit the 7-inch Michael Keaton Batman action figure in it. Uh, we're going to start with the frame. It's probably going to be in three parts, maybe four, because there's a lot of details to be done. Uh, the first thing you want to do is look for references on the Internet. So uh, let's go and take a look and see what I can find on online. Uh, should be interesting. This is what's happened. We got all these different Batmobiles here. As you can see, but the first thing that we want, I mean, we want as many references as, as we can get, um, but the, what we really need right now is a schematic of the top, bottom, and side. That, that's pretty good right there, but uh, no, there we go. So there's one schematic of the top, bottom, and back. So let's see if it gets a little uh, unfuzzy, because it's kind of fuzzy. We're not going to go with that, so we're going to keep looking. There's a beautiful shot of the Batmobile from the uh, actual movie. But that's not what we're looking for. We need a schematic. In other words, a blueprint of the Batmobile. There, this is the one that I used. This is perfect. It shows you only the top and the side, but that's good enough. Um, what I did was, and this is really cheap, it's not going to cost you a lot of money to make this Batmobile. You can make it any size you want. You can even make one scale 1.6. One uh, but uh, you need this schematic so uh, in other words this blueprint this is what I I uh, uh, eyeballed it but you can print it out into sections maybe uh, three sections uh, I did it, just eyeballed it I did half so that I could do perfect symmetry so in other words I just drew a uh, half of the Batmobile and then I folded it over and I did the other half, which I'll show you right now uh, exactly how to do that. But first, before we go into all this, you need to have certain uh, tools and glue and things that you're going to need to do this. Um, I get cardboard for free. I go to the store uh, once or twice a week. Uh, I go to Smith's. But you could probably go to Publix or if, if you have a Publix or a Smith's and ask for uh, cardboard. Do you have any cardboard you're throwing away? They'll most, most times they'll be happy to give you some. So that part is free. The materials are free. Uh, unless you want to get into foam and after you build the frame, you want to put foam on it. And paint it. I don't think I'm going to do that to mine. I'm just going to make it out of cardboard and then paint it with plastic dip. It's what everybody's using. Uh, or plastic coat. Uh, which actually when you spray it, it it's co you're coating your, your thing with, a, with plastic. It's just in a spray can. So uh, you have that option. Uh, there's a lot of Batmobiles here. So take your time. Look around. You can a lot of rear ends, side, back views. Uh, I'm pretty sure here's another schematic or blueprint. Okay, so now we got these schematics off your TV or your computer, whichever one you have, or a phone. You can even get the schematics from a phone. Um, we need tools to do this. So the first thing you're going to need is Elmer's school glue or you can use Elmer's wood glue. Elmer's wood glue is actually better, dries faster and um, it's it's a harder glue than this one. Dries uh, to a harder uh, finish. 
but with this, you can actually coat your uh, model that you're making uh, with cardboard. And of course, you're going to need cardboard. I just got this cardboard out of the um, recycling bin that they have at Smith's. They just throw this cardboard outside. It's free. Free cardboard. Uh, the next thing you're going to need is a good pair of scissors because you're going to be cutting with some scissors. You're going to need a blade, uh, preferably this type of blade here is the best. Okay, so you're going to need blades and an X-Acto knife, uh, your preference, just something very sharp. Now, and of course, a, uh, a pen, uh, maybe a Sharpie, Sharpies work best. And you're going to need your ruler, and I use this piece of metal thing because it was free, I found it. So, but you will need a yardstick basically, that's what this is representing, a yardstick, even though it's just a piece of metal. But it's really good for, uh, you know, doing traces and stuff. Last but not least, you're going to need a sharpener to sharpen your tools. Yes, you're going to need a diamond sharpener. Uh, it's good to invest in this. You can get it on eBay. This one cost me like three bucks. Worth it, worth it, worth it. Because uh, you've got to sharpen pretty much everything after you use it on cardboard. Cardboard's a little thicker than normal paper, so um, that's going to be that. Now, uh, I'm going to show you a first attempt that I did. Now, mind you, what I did with this is I drew half of it, which is just the front right here. I did that little curve. And then I drew this part right here, going along the line that I saw on the uh, screen. And then this part back here. So basically, that's the bottom of the Batmobile. And I'll be making a, a chassis for it and uh, adding some stuff so that the actual um, model will, the wheels will roll on this thing. Now, I wasn't happy with this. I wasn't happy because it's a little thin. Also, um, I did it in two parts, if you can see. Uh, I did it in two parts. I cut the front first, and I did it down the middle in half, and then I cut the back part. I, I drew the back part, and then I cut it and glued it together, and this is what I got. But I did not like this first attempt, so I went with a second attempt and this I did like, and I haven't glued it together yet, so this is what I did. And basically I folded the cardboard over. See how easy that is? You can actually take the line right there and get a good look. That's the front of the Batmobile. I folded it over, and then I traced it and cut it, and I came up with this shape. This one I like more. It's thicker. It's it's going to be a fatter Batmobile, which means that I can work more on the cockpit. Uh, remember, just eyeball half of it. You don't have to do the whole thing. Just You want symmetry anyway, so just do half of the Batmobile. Look, it's a simple shape, and then just curve it down the back, and then you can do your backside. The backside, which is stuck in all this rubble here. There we go. This is the back side. I did the same thing. Uh, I did one side and then I did the other side, folded it down the middle. Um, that's pretty it, pretty simple. Uh, when you put them together, which is my next step to glue them together, it'll look something like, like that. Oops, excuse me. It'll look something like that. Something like that, right there. That's what you'll have. The whole chassis, which is the starting point. We're going to work on this by, uh, we're going to do the sides, and then we're going to do the top, and then we're going to add some pieces to the side, because the back of the Batmobile, if you look in the pictures, it kind of sticks out about right here. And, of course, we're going to work on the wheels. I did work on some wheels with foam. 
but because I went up in scale a little bit, I don't think they're going to look good on this Batmobile, so I'll probably be working on some more. And I'll probably do them out of cardboard and then just add foam on the outside to make the wheel look like rubber. So I may just add foam on the outside of it. Um, this is it for my first tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoyed looking at this. And yes, you can do it. Don't say, nope, you can do it. Trust me, if I'm doing it, you can do it. Um, it's not that hard. It's just time consuming. That's all. You just need some time and take your time and uh, don't give up until you're happy with what you have. This is going to be the end of my first tutorial because I'm fortunate.